Welcome to this SQL interview series of Data Millennials. In this video, we are going to discuss about our next question in SQL interview series. So the question is that we have to write a SQL query to find the records in table A that are not present in table B. But there is a condition that you do not have to use the NOT in operator. Now NOT in operator is usually used to find out the record which is not present in another table. But when your interviewer has specifically asked you to not use this not in operator, then there are two options that you can use. The first one is that you can use joins and the second one is that you can use not exist. So you have two tables here. The first table is table A which have certain numbers here and you have another table, table B which have certain numbers here. Now, if you see these two tables, you will see that 40 is present in table A as well as 40 is present in table B, right? Similarly, there can be multiple records which is present in table A, which is also present in table B, but there are few of the unique records which are present in table A, but not in table B. So we have to find out all of those unique records which is present in table A but not in table B. So we are going to use two options here. The first option that we will be using joins to get our output and the second option that we will use is a not exist. So let's go to our SQL workbench and here we have our question which I have shown you right. Now the tables that we will be using here first we need to see those tables that what kind of data that table have so we'll put select star from sql interview dot table a so in our table a we have these five records similarly we'll see what kind of data that we have in our table b also so the reason that we are doing this is to find out that what kind of data that we have in both of these tables and the columns that we are going to compare is of the same data type or not. So there should not be the case that you are comparing a string versus numbers or a number versus some other date and time format column. So before comparing you have to just be sure that the columns that you are using for comparison are of the same data types. That's why we have used the select a star from table A as well as select a star from table B to see what kind of data that we have in our table. Now we know that both of these tables have the numeric column. Now we can go to answer our question. To answer this question, we'll use the first option. The option is to use the joins. So the first option is to use joins here. So what we can do is that we can simply use the left join function. Reason being is that in our question, we have to find records in table A that are not present in table B. So we'll take table A data as our left table and we'll compare it with our table B, which will act as a right table. So we'll simply put select A dot star from SQL interview dot table A as A. So I have given A as alias for this table A. Okay. So let's run this query first. So I'm getting all of these records. Now if you see 40 was present in table A as well as it was present in table B. So let's run this select a star from SQL interview table B to validate. So we have 40 in table B also. So this 40 should not be in our output. So after this first part of this query, we will simply use left join. And in our left join, we will give this table B. So table B will be our right table. Okay. So I'm just changing the nomenclature here. Table B. After left join, we have to give the on clause on which we are joining this table. So our table will be joined on table a dot column one equal to b dot column one. Now, if you run this query, 
or let's put b dot star over here so that we can get all of these details now if i run this query you will see that only 40 is the common value in table a as well as table b now if i want to exclude this 40 from our result set from this query what i can simply do is that i can put where b dot column 1 is it is null and why we had done that because if you have used this join you can see that wherever table a value is present in table 2 you will get the output but where the table a value is not present in table 2 you will get null so after joining these two table we can simply put that this column in the output is null and now if I run this query you will see that you will have all the values which is present in table A and is not present in table 2. Now if I go back to our question, the question was to find out the record in table A that are not present in table B without using not in operator. So as per the question we do not have to show this table B details, we just have to show table A details. So I'll remove this B dot star which is showing us the column of table B. Now if I run this query, you will have a unique list of records present in table A which is not present in table B. So this was the first option to use the joins and after using join you can use this where condition with the column value is null. Now let's go to the second option that we have. So our second option is to use not exist so what we can simply do here is that we can put select star from sql interview dot table a and we will give an alias as a after this we'll put a where condition saying that where not exists and within this condition, we'll put select star from SQL interview dot table B. And after this, we'll give a alias as B. Then we'll put a where condition where A dot column 1 is equal to B dot column 1. And then we'll close this bracket and now if I run this query you will see that you will have the same output 93 24 96 and 34 which is present in table A but not in table B so you have your output here so you can use the not exist function also or not exist keyword also to find out all of those records which is present in a particular table but not in another table so this is how you can write SQL query to find out the records which is present in a particular table but not in another table. If you want to learn more about SQL you can click on the left hand side of this video or if you want to practice more SQL interview question you can click on the right hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.